This tutorial will teach you how to use a line and set the capacity of a buffer. Add a new frame to the Facility Components folder in the class library. Rename the frame as indicated. Add two interface objects from the Material Flow tab on the toolbox. Add two buffer objects from the Material Flow tab on the toolbox. Add three single proc objects. Insert a line from the Material Flow tab on the toolbox. Connect all the objects using the connector. Double click on the first interface object, change the name as indicated. Ensure side is set to left. Double click on the second interface object, change the name to out. Ensure side is set to right. Double click on the first single proc and change the name as indicated. Change the processing times distribution to triangular. Enter the time as indicated. Go to the Exit Strategy tab and check the blocks box for blocking. Double click on the second in single proc object. Change the name as indicated. Change the processing times distribution to triangular. Enter the time as indicated. Go to the Exit Strategy tab and check the block box for blocking. Double click on the third single proc and change the name as indicated. Change the processing times distribution to uniform. Enter the time as indicated. Go to the Exit Strategy tab and check the box for blocking. Double click on the first buffer and change the capacity to 25. Ensure the buffer type is set to Q. Go to the Exit Strategy tab, check the box for blocking. From the drop down list, select Least Recent Demand. Double click on the second buffer and change the capacity to 25. Ensure the buffer type is set to Q. Go to the Exit Strategy tab, check the box for blocking. 
double click the line object. Set the length to 15 meters and the speed to 0 0.5. Therefore the paint will be drying for 30 minutes whilst traveling on the line. Create a new frame under the test models folder in the class library. Change the name of the frame as indicated. Add a source, drain and events controller to the frame. Drag and drop the comp painting frame into the test frame from the class library. Connect using the connector. Set up the events controller. Decrease the speed of the simulation. Set the end time to 5 days. Ensure delete emus on reset is checked. Reset and run the model. Enter the comp painting frame and ensure all lines are working. Close all the frames. Duplicate the plant 4 frame in the models folder of the class library. Rename the frame as indicated. Delete the painting single proc and replace the comp painting frame as shown previously. Set up the events controller. Reset and run. Ensure all lines are working by increasing and decreasing the speed of the simulation.